When you get the watch, what you'll first see is the, the standard screen. The watch is configured to three screens. The normal screen, the game time referee watch, and the third screen is a final stopwatch screen. Let's go back to the beginning. Press and hold the bottom left hand button will scroll you through the screens. The most important feature that we're going to focus on today is the sensational referee timer watch. When we see this watch, you'll see that we have the location of where we're at, the local time, the date, the halves that we have allocated in pre-configured. Each referee watch that we sell, we will pre-configure for you. So we will set your local time and more importantly, set the halves and the intervals for you. We also see the one PER, which means period. These watches are configured for two halves. So that's our 45 minute halves and the period. The bottom watch is a counting, uh, a counting feature and the bottom right feature is the time added on. We can check to see how our watch is configured by pressing the right hand bottom button and you will see it allocates and shows us that we have two periods. More importantly, if you look down here as we press it, we have a 15 minute interval. So that's a 15 minute half time. The beauty of this watch is it has a one button operation for the whole game. It's incredibly simple to use. Although it looks complex, it's very, very simple. Okay, let's see how this works. So we're about to go, coin toss has happened. We're ready on the pitch to press the game. To start the game, you press and hold the top right hand button. Once you do that, you will hear an audible sound, and you will hear it, and that is the sound of the, vibra the vibrating watch. Let's have a listen. Okay, game has started. So what we're actually seeing now, and take some time to, to absorb this because it's very, very simple. The top is showing us the game time remaining. The bottom is showing us the actual game time played. So it's, there's two stopwatch functions happening. Game time remaining, game time played. How this watch works and the beauty of this watch is if we need to stop the watch for any reason, be it for a, an incident, and let's do that now, press and hold the right, you will hear the watch vibrate, the top watch has stopped. What this watch will do now is listen carefully, Every 10 seconds, it will vibrate to remind you that you've stopped the, stopped the actual game time. Bottom is counting up. Listen again. That's now 20 second stoppage. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, the injury or the incident that has occurred has been cleared. This will vibrate again. 30 seconds on time. It's just reminding you to restart the watch. If you forget to restart the watch, it's no problem because the bottom one will keep on uh, showing us the game time played. But this will keep on reminding me, and trust you, trust me, you will restart it. So we're ready to go. Press and hold the top button. When you restart, it's a longer vibration. It's a one second vibration. So what's happened is, is this. We have stopped the watch, and we know now, simply by glancing at it, we've added 48 seconds to the game time. So the, there is now a difference between these two. As we approach the, the half time, the more stoppages we have, the more you will see this increase. Let's see that one more time. So we have another incident. Uh, let's say it's a substitute. So the AR4 or your, your linesman is calling for a substitute. Press and hold the button. Vibrates to let you know. You can also see it uh, that it has stopped. We're doing the substitute. Each substitute, as we know, takes around 30 odd seconds or so. So uh, the substitute is, is, is in place. Now uh, the, the person is walking over, the substitute's walking over. This will vibrate every 10 seconds and let us know uh, to, that the watch has actually stopped. And here we go. The uh, substitute has taken place. We're ready to go. Press and hold the button. Game restart. That's where we'll leave it now. We're going to let this run through its course for a full game of 90 minutes. I'll be back just before half time to show you the difference and I will add on a couple of more of extra times during that time to show you how it works. So as we approach the end of the first half uh, with the added time on that we've had during the game, you see on the bottom right hand screen, we've had three minutes of extra time. The bottom uh, timer uh, that is showing us the game played, game time played is well over the 45 minutes. It's because it's added or is adding now the three minutes. 
of extra time. So this is the, the time that the watch will vibrate to indicate to the referee that we are in fact uh, at the end of the first half. When the game, uh, when the watch reaches zero on the uh, game time remaining, you see this will be at 48 minutes because it has added on the three minutes. And more importantly, you will get a five second uh, vibration alert on the watch uh, to let you know that the game has finished. Uh, this bottom watch of the uh, actual uh, game time played will continue to uh, keep on going even after this finishes zero. So the magical feature and the beautiful um, uh, feature of this watch is the referee, well before it was uh, time to uh, finish the first half by glancing at his watch, knows there's three minutes of extra time played and he has communicated. Now let's listen to the game, uh, the watch timer. Okay, and that will stop automatically. A nice five second vibration alert. You blow the full time whistle and away we go inside to the change rooms. What's happened automatically is the game time now for the extra time for the half time interval has started automatically. So we're already at 14 minutes and 30 seconds. This is the beautiful fourth uh, timer of this watch, which uh, when the first time, when the first half finishes, it will uh, automatically start the half time break, which as we all know, is set at 15 minutes. Uh, this watch will continue to count down to, uh, to zero. Once it reaches zero uh, in the halftime break, the watch will wait for you to restart the, uh, the game. As I said before, you only need to press one button operation during the whole uh, duration of this match, and that's the start and stop button. Uh, we'll come back just before the, uh, the end of the, uh, the, uh, the halftime interval, and we'll get going. And as we're approaching the end of the halftime interval, you'll see you know, that the watch is still displaying uh, extra time played. If uh, you want to record that in your room, we have one minute to go before the 15 minute period of the halftime has elapsed. You'll see a little indicator here, the uh, green and the blue. The green indicates uh, the match uh, progression as you're uh, in the first half or the second half, and the blue indicates the stoppage time you've had. It's just a, a quick visual of the game. When we restart the other uh, watch, it's 40 seconds to go, you'll notice two things. The second period will uh, uh, appear from one period to the second period, indicating the second half. And the beauty of this watch uh, is the time will be added on to the bottom of the, uh, the, the game time played. So it will be uh, showing us 45 minutes plus. And we all know the features of that, but I'll get back to that in just one moment. This watch, once it gets uh, to the zero of the extra time or the the, the half time interval, which uh, we're seeing now, will wait for you. So we're back on the park. We're almost ready to go. Uh, it will vibrate again to let us know that that time has elapsed, and we will hear the vibration alert in in just a couple of seconds. Okay. The watch is now waiting for us. Uh, it will not continue or will not start, obviously, and thankfully, uh, until we hit again the one button operation on the top. So everything's in place, we're ready to go. Just watch the second half change, but more importantly, where the watch will start from. Game start. So this now counts 45 minutes and up for the second half. It is a fantastic feature for when we're recording our fouls or incidents or goals in the second half. We don't know, we no longer need to do the mental arithmetic. The watch will tell us exactly when the incident occurred. So for example, if something happens in the, in the 46th minute or the, uh, the 87th minute, as it may be, it will show that to you immediately. The same features as before. We're now seeing the second half, the, 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 exactly the same count up, same features, nothing has changed. We still can stop the watch for an incident. The bottom right hand side watch for the time added on will start. The game uh, time left freezes and this continues going and our, uh, and our little 10 second reminder uh, keeps on going. To reset the watch all we need to do is press and hold the bottom right hand button for 2 seconds and it will reset the watch totally ready for your next game.